The question is whether XEF4 is ionic or covalent. This is xenon tetrafluoride. So if we look at the periodic table divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we find xenon over here. Here's xenon. It's a noble gas. And then we have fluorine. So we have two nonmetals. When we have nonmetals bonded together, we have covalent bonds. So XEF4, it's a covalent compound. And we said that xenon is a noble gas. In general, noble gases, they don't form bonds with other atoms. But xenon here, it's an exception in some special cases of high temperatures and high pressures. It can bond with these fluorine atoms. Let's take a look at the structure, though. So here's a Lewis structure. We have xenon in the center. And these single lines here, these are called single bonds. They represent a pair of electrons. And those electrons are shared. And these are covalent bonds. The electrons are shared. The xenon, it has more than eight valence electrons, but it can have an expanded octet. And then by sharing each of the fluorines, they have an octet, full outer shell. If we look at the molecular geometry here for XEF4, we can see it spread out. There would be a lone pair of electrons up here and then underneath, but they're not drawn here in the structure. So the answer to our question, whether XEF4 is ionic or covalent, it is covalent. We sometimes call that molecular as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.